Hello, my sweet little bagel boys. Welcome back to Mega Monkey Ketchup. Mega Monkey Ketchup. We are reading some uh, Zero. What is this? Gambling Emperor Legend Zero. Or a Japanese name, also. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, we're again just getting back into more Fukumoto shit in Mega Mangaka Ketchup, reading a bunch of series by authors that I already like. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna read Zero. I, mean, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm still having a preamble. There's nothing to this. We're reading Zero. Let's do it, boys. I don't know anything about it. I know it has to do with math at one part of it, maybe. And I am not looking forward to that because I don't know math. But uh, okay. Man, it's so weird anytime seeing Fukumoto colored pages. Like, not illustrations, but like, just colored pages. Okay. What is this, like a death game series? I did not expect it to be that, actually. Hmm. So wait, what are they talking about? They've all agreed to participate, but then it sounds like they're trying to evacuate them or something, but I guess not. Hmm. A king is needed. A powerful king. Okay. This is whole first chapter in color? So, okay, yeah, something big is about to go down. Okay, no, so just the first couple pages. First, like, nine pages. Well, I guess some of it was the cover. Okay, so uh, if I'm following this correctly, someone was uh, running a scam and anybody who deposited money into this fake bank account, Zero, hacked into that bank account and stole the money back and gave it back to the people who deposited the money in there. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's what's happening here. It's a little bit hard to follow. Okay, so they actually have all the Righteous Thieves held captive right now. None of these are zero, though. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, well, guess you won't be needing these fingers then. Okay, yeah, yeah, he'll call, he'll call. Of course, it's another family restaurant. Can't go a Fukumoto series without having a family restaurant. <laughs> okay. So, they dressed up as delivery boys, came and delivered the food, and made some copies of the keys. They switched the keys out. It's actually impressive that they just, like, swapped them instead of, like, making a copy. Because if it was an identical fake, how would it be... Actually, yeah, that's true. If it's an identical fake, how would it be different? Um... Because I guess it wouldn't be identical then. I guess it was, you know, close enough to being identical. But, also, they didn't even erase the Japanese text behind here. Come on, man. God damn it. I think this is Hawks, though, not Fukumoto Crazy. I could be wrong on that. They got the password, too. It was when I was ordering my men. When I gave the card to my men to go get the money, I told them that the password is backwards from the second last number. What an idiot. Jesus, he got stabbed. My god, well that explains why he's on the floor like that. But yeah, they're the ones who got caught. Even if we die here. My god. So, what the hell happened? Uh, oh, okay, a suicide website, I guess? So he wasn't the suicide fact at the beginning. Showed up and stopped him from killing himself. Jesus. <laughs> what a fucking request. <laughs> he's such a pretty boy too. Okay, so he's giving them poison gum. And uh... Okay... This will be our strength. That way they can all kill themselves right here if they want to. They're probably not going to. They would have done it already if they wanted to. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, this guy's a fucking idiot. He, like, doesn't even know how to answer what you had at a fucking restaurant. Name anything. A hamburger. It was $20. A <laughs> $20 hamburger. 
What? Okay, so it wasn't actually poison, it was a homing device inside. Huh, what a piece of trash. Zero seems like a really bad dude. Alright, just gonna beat him to death. But you just before then, Zero shows up. Why would he show up? Okay. Why? Uh. Okay. Hmm. I, if I saw the three of you were ever together in one place for a long time, it would alert me to a possible suicide attempt. I feel like they would probably kill themselves before you were able to get to them, but. Why is he saying shush? That sound of your greatest enemy. Police? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool, yeah, and the, and the gum as well. Okay. This is that guy from the beginning, 50 points. Huh? Oh, okay. Why would he not call the police? Is this their boss? Why would he not call the police? Okay, so here's the old man. He doesn't even know him? Uh, Zaizen Muro, age 81, the leader of the Zaizen group. The man whose fortune was estimated to be over 3 trillion. He's the wealthiest man in Japan. Okay. So yeah, he's just the guy who's ruling all Japan, I guess, basically. <laughs> Just ten fucking yen for each of them. Any complaints? No. Okay, and they're gonna participate as well. A test to become a king. I guess this is a death game thing. A gambling amusement park. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's what I meant by blood relatives and stuff. I was just like, zero lucky enough to be given the opportunity to lucky enough. Okay, that was the end of the yeah, end. This was translated by Hawks. Okay, well, that was the end of the first chapter. Let's get into the second one. I'm really not sure how I feel about Zero as a protagonist so far. He's very unlikable. Okay, yeah, so this is just like a gamble. Yeah, uh, who will be the gambler to represent and handle Zizen's fortunes? Oh, okay, so they all have, like, uh, rep players, essentially, if we're using Mahjong terms. They all have rep players, all these billionaires, millionaires, they're not betting the money themselves. They're like, here's my money, you bet it all for me. Which, to be fair, sounds incredibly lame. Like, how are they getting any thrill out of that, at that point? Really, all his money, too? How do these people stay billionaires? Because pretty much most of them would have to lose all their money. Hmm. And you'll get a certain amount of money. At least this much. God damn. So that seems okay. This all seems crazy. Like, this is insane. Like, again, compared to, like, Kaiju or any other gamble ones, this is, like, so unbelievable in terms of, like, trying to, uh, suspend my disbelief for this. You see, becoming so unsightly at a mere trillion yen, that's literally a third of all the money you have. That's a third of all the fucking money you have. Like, he's trying to say it's 0.1%, but that's of the total. Of The the crazy part is that they're going to win 1 trillion yen. Like, Zizen only has 3 trillion. That's a third of all of the money he owns. Why would he give that away to some random person? Why would he let that person bet for him in the first place? What thrills is he getting out of that? Wait, what? All of you have been scammed. Didn't you already pay all those people back? Hmm. Okay. Didn't we already do that, though? Okay. Is that a speaker? I think. Hmm. It's actually rather important. Only the winners of this game will be allowed to participate in the main event in the Kingdom of Dreams. Okay. Nice we put in this bowl, and then, oh, okay, it's just a camera of the bowl. Okay. And then it's a one. 
first result was a one. Now let's roll again. It's a one. And it's a one for the third time in a row. One more. And, uh, wait, what? Oh, he put a lid on it. Oh, okay. Time for the question. Just what do you think the last roll was? Uh, yeah. Like you gentlemen, adventure again. Okay, so it's supposed to be like we saw where it was, like, you know, we saw it tumbling. So we know it's got to roll on one of these things. Maybe like, I don't know. Uh, how are we supposed to figure this out? What is there to figure out about this? He threw it in from the left side. He threw it in from the left side. And then he threw it in from the left side. Okay, so it's not anything like that. But, oh, well, the camera's reversed here. Because, yeah, yeah. That's, okay, I guess maybe that has to go into it. But no, that shouldn't, because that shouldn't affect anything. But why is the camera reversed on this side? I don't know. Maybe that was just a mistake. Uh, but I, I would answer one in this situation. I would answer one. <laughs> but okay, actually, he did say that, uh, you know, um, Mustache Man said that the Stabbed Boy would have a lot of... Uh, w would possibly win this simply because he had a great amount of luck um, from being stabbed and healing from it very fast. So, I guess this is just a luck thing. Maybe there's not actually anything you have to figure out here. It's just, you literally are just guessing. Okay. Yeah, that's bullshit. That's not actually how it's going to happen. Footage from a game show that will be broadcast sometime next year. But for today's event, see some changes. If you look at the giant rubber balls, they're replaced by real steel balls. Mm-hmm. Figured. I'm surprised they actually said that and didn't trick him. Uh, why'd you do that now? You already broke the ground and everything. Yeah, it won't crush if you get the right answer. That feels, this feels very, like, strange to have the balls drop first. Or, like, even tell them about that at all. I guess that's part of it because you want people to be really, like, weirded out, like, oh. I don't know what I'm going to pick, blah, blah, blah. You want them to be panicking, I guess? Wait, what? Even if you don't guess the right number, to those who at least entered the circle, I will reward their bravery, but they're, they'll be dead. Yeah, they'll still be dead. No, I think that's... I think that's going to be bullshit. I think it's absolutely misdirect, but at the same time, I would just because there's a higher chance like if I picked any other number I still have like a one in five chance whereas if I pick the one I think it's very unlikely but it's the only one that uh, I can trick myself into feeling has more of a like one in six chance I guess but still I can't imagine there's really gonna be anybody that's not gonna go for one because like as I said even if you think even if you think that it is a loaded die you would still go for one because it still feels like the highest chance. It still feels like, well, even if it is, like, the, 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 the question now, again, becomes, is it a loaded die or isn't it? So, you can pick 1 and have a 1 in 50 chance, or you can pick 2 through 5 and have a, uh, you know, I, I guess, it would be a 1 in 50 chance, but you're picking between 4 numbers. I don't know math. We established that at the very beginning of the series. But you get my point. There is... Way more possibility of you dying picking two through uh, six. I don't know, like I said, two through five, two through six, um, than if you just picked one. Because, again, this is not what number is it going to come up as now. In everyone's mind, this is is it one or is it two through six? That's the only two options that people have at this point is is it one or is it two through six? So most people would pick one, right? I feel like 90% of people would pick one. Almost everybody would pick one simply because of that. It's a 50% chance versus like a 10% chance or whatever the fuck that would be. I don't know math. Alright, some kid's immediately going into the 1-1. One one. Yeah. Yep. Some kid. Yep, he's going. He's going. Get in. Everybody in. There's not enough people for everybody going uh, 1. Nope. Yeah. See, that's bullshit. That is total bullshit. 
that you, like that's total bullshit because then it's not what number did you pick it's like how fast are you but maybe maybe that is what they're going for right like you have to be able to decide fast enough oh there was a still empty why two no it's i i mean technically sure it's the same no matter what number you choose there, I mean, there is advantages on... I mean, I guess not. Because we don't have anything to go off of. I don't have anything to go off of at all. I have to assume it's going to be two. I would die then, because I would 100% pick one every time. Okay, so I was right then. That the dice in the bowl was the one on the screen. He never said that. Okay, because I did bring that up, but then I just thought, like, ah, it must have just been a mistake on the artist's end. Like, on Fukumoto's end, but... Hey, I... Okay, I was fucking right! Are you serious? <laughs> I legitimately, think so. I didn't even think of, like, that it was a different camera. I was just like, okay, that doesn't make any sense as to why that would affect anything at all. Like, I, because I immediately just thought it was reversed. So, so sure, it is still a 1 in 6 chance then. Alright. If I was there in person, I would have, maybe, I, I wouldn't have called one of that. What am I fucking talking about? I'm only, I only called on it because this is a manga so I can spend as much time as I want on these moments. I'm not in the moment there. I mean, you still have a chance though. I mean, there's still 100% a, you know, 1 in 6 chance. There's a 100% 1 in 6 chance. <laughs> but, yeah. No, why would he? After all, this is 1 in 6 chance. Sit like how I'm sitting. What? What does he mean by that? Huh. 2 is no good. Yeah, but so if you didn't pick one, then yeah, you're not getting a chance here. Which, I guess to be fair, I wouldn't do it at all. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm forced to do this, but I guess I would. I would not do this at all. Okay, so on the screen it shows another one. In the bowl it shows a four. Okay. So because they were on the edge, they didn't get hit. Okay. Okay. He was saying sit like I'm sitting, but like I guess that didn't really matter. Because they still have plenty of room. It's not as big a ball as it seemed. And that makes sense, yeah. I thought he meant more of, like, you know, uh, if you were, like, at the bottom or something like that, like, if you were out towards the edge, the the bodies of the other people would, uh, you know, maybe uh, soften the crushing and you would only break every bone in your body. So you could still participate just with every bone in your body breaking. I thought he meant something like that. Oh, the fucking steel ball's breaking. Okay. What did he do? He, what, did he stick his head through the fucking thing? I feel like that's gonna cause a lot of problems. <laughs> Why would you stick his head through the bars? What in the world? Okay, I guess. Oh, that was. The th oh yeah, it's like this fucking thing in manga that I absolutely hate, where their heads like are drawn over bars or a chain link fence or anything like that. God, I fucking hate that. But is he actually going to get hit and killed? Yeah. Yeah. See, I can't tell what's happening here. Did he get in... No, he couldn't be impaled by this. Wait, make me into a true righteous thief? What? What do you mean by that? Okay. I mean, he's kind of already playing into... This is very shallow promise, or like, you know thing to request because viewer he doesn't know but like zero was already like well yeah i was gonna do that anyway buddy <laughs> okay that worked he's like hey that dude's out can i be in yeah sure <laughs> all right that works that's pretty easy all right but now everyone's gonna be out for his head i mean his death was kind of all for nothing <laughs> like uh one like he didn't really protect zero because Zero was trying to help him out of there. It was his fault that he died. Like, it was his fault that he died. The, the like, promise that he made Zero make to him, Zero already planned to do anyway. We learned that, like, the second chapter, when he, you know, said that he was going to use the money to pay back people, and Zero was like, well, yeah, that's what I was going to do, too. Like, he just said, said that, you know, in his mind. So we knew he was already going to do that anyway. This death means nothing. It's nothing. He calls it. He's the one who, like, caused himself to die. He didn't save Zero. He was the one who made Zero get in fucking harm's way to begin with. 
And now he's put a burden on his heart of having this guy die for him that he caused. Okay, so there's a bunch of other contestants. Qualified contestants from the other gates. What? There's other gates? Okay. I guess. They all went to the steel wall event, everybody. I like that they didn't just, like, you know, that they didn't actually kill anybody back there. I really appreciated that for a death game series. Because, especially a game like this. Uh, because having hundreds of people just suddenly die in Japan, even if a lot of them are homeless or whatever, uh, would be cause for an investigation and stuff. So this not having people be dying, like, you know, people dying are only from a pool of, like, a hundred or so. Instead of, like... Literally hundreds. Okay, so it is like a gambling theme park, li literally. Like, you know, you can go and choose whatever you want to do. This is not a, um, you know, thing of like, all right, here's the gamble. It's like, okay, pick whatever gamble you're best at. Okay, give him one of these rings. Those who collect three of these rings will qualify. Okay, so you gotta do three gambles. Three main things to be aware of safety, mild, hard. Okay. All three levels will give you rings when you win, but what will vary are the number of rings you receive. You might get two, or even maybe three, if you do mild or hard. Hmm. This seems pretty easy, then. You just do, like, three safe ones. Why not? So, okay. You might suffer uh, physical or mental damages. That is why you must all be prepared. So that's why, yeah, you go for the safety ones, because then even if you lose it, you should go again. Even if you lose, you should keep going again until you hurt yourself too much. Wait, what? Certain stations will be marked as safe and will have no punishments. However, at all the gambling stations, you will be forced to drop out as soon as you lose. What? I don't, I don't understand what he means by that. What does he mean by that? Because... Um... At all the gambling stations, you will be forced to drop out as soon as you lose. But he says right up here, uh, uh, where was it? Um, yeah, if you lose, it won't just end at that. You might suffer physical and mental damages. Oh, no, okay, I see, I see what he means. Okay, never mind, never mind. I thought this meant, you know, if you lose, you'll suffer physical and mental damages, but, like, that doesn't mean you lose overall. Like, it won't just end at that. I meant, I, I took that as, if you lose, you don't lose the whole day, right? You just lose that thing, like that specific gamble, but you can keep trying other gambles. But no, okay, so, if you lose one gamble, you do lose permanently. Okay. And you will also take some uh, physical and mental damages. Okay, okay. So then, but I would still go with the, you know, safety strategy. I think it's a pretty good strategy. I feel like it's the only good strategy. Going for one hard game is retarded, but I feel like that's definitely what we're going to do. Alright. On the mar gambles marked with J, not only will you get a ring if you win, but also you'll be not forced to drop out even if you lose. Okay. Randomly scattered throughout the entire park, so find them yourself. Okay. Okay. So then why not just do all the J ones? But I guess, um, he doesn't say that, uh, they're all like of varying levels, so they're probably all the hard ones or something. Or, you know, some of them at least. Alright, got three hours. So, yeah, everyone's going to the J immediately. It's already got a huge line. Almost two hours to get in. Yeah, you'd be fucked. There's no point to that. Okay, the Jack Room, level mild. Sure. We didn't see what level that J one was, right? Yeah, it just says J. We don't see a level on it anywhere. And so it does say, yeah, you get two rings. So I guess you get a ring depending on the level. So safety, you get one. Mild, you get two. Hard, you get three. It seems all but basically uh, guaranteed at this point. Okay, he's, yeah, screaming in pain. So, oh, okay, cool. Is it the, uh, like, knife choppy thingy thingy? The finger. He bet his finger and lost. And so I won his finger. Okay. So that's mild. Mild is losing your finger. Okay. Uh, I think that's the end of the first volume, right? But we're going to keep going. i got to download the second volume. But we're going to keep going and cover this whole... Uh, 
I don't know. Um, I guess we could end it here and just like, I, cause I don't know how long, I don't know if all eight volumes are this carnival gambling thing. I don't know. So maybe we'll end it here and then I'll read the second volume and, and we'll see. Maybe I'll put it together if it, uh, like all ends in the second volume. Cause this is pretty fast paced so far. So, um, yeah, I'm really not sure how I feel about Zero. I am interested in it just because it is a death game series. And also I just noticed that this guy looks a lot like the fucking, uh, 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 one eye, not one eye kid, but the Sanji kid, you know, the guy with his face covered with his hair. Uh, so he's probably one of his blood relatives. Cause we do know a lot of blood relatives are here. So that would make sense. But, um, uh, yeah, I, I feel very meh about this series. I don't like care about any of the characters. It's not all very interesting. None of their designs are very interesting. Um, it's nothing really about the series that is interesting aside from the fact that it's a death game series and I will pretty much just read any death game series uh, except for like As It Got's Will that series was fucking garbo but uh yeah I'll see you guys for the next series next volume next video unless this just continues get the fuck out of here